It's been five minutes since Marjorie gave birth and the calf has shown no signs of life. Oh, I don't like the look of this. The Malayan tapir, one of Chester's more unusual looking species, may not appear the fittest, but their girth is a natural defense even against the fiercest of hunters. They are big, strong, powerful animals. When they run, they will just power through anything. If there's a fence in the way, it doesn't always bother them. Because of the size of Malayan tapirs, it's rare that they are preyed upon. They've even defended herself against tigers in the wild. At home in the jungles of Southeast Asia, these semi-aquatic mammals can weigh in at over 500 kilos, the load of a grand piano. Malayan tapirs need at least 40 kilos of food to keep them going daily. Chester's breeding female, seven-year-old Marjorie, uses her trunk to great effect. Marjorie's mate, Batong, is also a bit of a unit. Batong's actually quite quiet compared to Marjorie. But male tapirs have a darker side. And Batong has a history of throwing his weight around. Batong can be quite aggressive, more so if Marjorie's in season. He'll be chasing her, and it's kind of a way of getting her to submit. Come on, Margie. Come on, we'll see how big you are. Today, the couple are hitting the scales as part of their regular health check. She's definitely getting a belly. She is massive, aren't you? Usually, Marjorie's about 320, 330 kilos. 374. What a whopper. <laughs> what have you got in there? Nice if that was a baby, wouldn't it? Her feeding regime is still the same as normal, but Tong's not lost weight, so she's not getting any extra, extra food there. So I'm hoping that Marjorie's pregnant. It's the unknown, really. We don't know if she is or she isn't. Are you okay? So the main signs would be bigger teats, so just starting to see the milk in the udders. Can I see? Can I have a look? Yeah, there's no there. There's nothing there yet. You're all flat, aren't you? All flat. And also, her vulva will become larger, it'll become a bit more swollen. You're playing tricks on us, aren't you? When an animal puts on 40 kilos, if it's not a baby, then there's something seriously going wrong. To rule out illness, keepers want to test Marjorie's hormone levels. The glamorous parts of the job are picking poo. After fears about her health, today it's been confirmed that Marjorie and Batong are to become parents again. I'm really, really pleased that she is expecting. It's brilliant news. Previously, Marjorie has already given birth to a healthy calf, Solo, and she's gone somewhere new, so having a new one will be brilliant. It's always nice knowing you've got a new baby on the way, especially when it's so cute, like a little baby tape here. But when they're so endangered, it makes it all the more special. Today, there are signs their latest calf could be arriving soon. That back looks, looks more baggy. It's definitely more baggy. The summer is starting now. With the labour looking imminent, there's a rush to get Marjorie's maternity ward ready. We're just putting some extra matting down, so when Marjorie gives birth, the calf's got more grip, so it doesn't splay its legs or anything like that. It's really swollen. Cheers. Cheers. As long as it pops out, we're... Fit and healthy. Mm. Every pregnancy is different, every birth is different, and you never know what to expect. Within hours, Marjorie's labour accelerates. Wow. wow. Oh, she's a good lass, isn't she? Yeah. 
It's not moving yet, is it? Can you see? No. no. I haven't even seen it take a breath yet. Come on, little baby. Come on. She was licking the calf, she was nudging the calf, she was doing everything right to get that calf stimulated. Oh, I don't like the look of this. It's been five minutes since Marjorie gave birth and the calf has shown no signs of life. Come on, little one. Motionless. It's just started. Oh, it's started wriggling. Come on, Kelly. Oh. Come, Come on, on, little one. Yes. Oh. oh, there we go. That makes me feel a bit better. Well, Margie. It's moving. You know what you're doing. Hey. hey. Oh, God. There we go. Give it a little push, didn't she? <laughs> The first few hours of a newborn's life is crucial. They have got to get to their feet, get a drink, and take the world in. Yeah, head up. <laughs> Marjorie the Malayan tapir's calf is four days old. We've named the calf Ronnie, and that's a traditional name for a Malaysian boy. We definitely know what sex he is, he's got quite a big package. Ronnie is very cute, he's still finding his feet a little bit, but we're starting to see that character already. And it's quite surprising actually that something so small came out of Marge when she had put on so much weight. I think there was a bit of uh, extra food involved in that one as well. Da -da. You're going out. Ronnie's distinctive brown fur and stripes are merely temporary. The perfect camouflage for the sun-dappled rainforests Malayan tapirs inhabit. He's looking really relaxed. Yeah. I thought he might have been a little bit more nervous. He seems really well. Little Ronnie is quite adventurous at the minute, and it is scaring me when he's going quite close to the pool. Don't you be going over there. You'll be giving me an heart attack. Oh. Oh. Be careful, it's a big step. He's just teasing us. 